sinful man. Yeah? 18. She said, Indeed, I seek refuge in the most mercy from you. If you should be fearing God. And 19 said, He said, I'm only the messenger of your Lord to give you news of a pure boy, i.e. the son. So, where is the Trinity in that one? I don't know what you're talking about. Explain that. Since you are the expert in the Quran, explain that to us. Explain it. Because you're talking clap trap, bankam and baloney. Talk then. Oh, you want me to say? Yeah, that's a talk. I want you to know because I'm, I'm, well, I'm, 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 I'm fed up here. Well, source is actually, it actually says in Surah Surah 19. Which that, source? That spirit, that spirit gave, 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 listen carefully, gave Mary a son. That's what it says in Pinto. Yeah, in what? In what? In what? In what? That verse before, which is Surah, I say in Surah, in Surah 17, in Surah 17, no, Surah, no, in Surah 19 and 17, that verse says that that's Ruhana. It doesn't say Jabril. I don't know where you got Jabril for, but I'll, I'll use the argument against you, okay? Can you speak so Arabic? Jibril, can you call it in Arabic? If that's Jabril, I just, I just call it Arabic. It was Ruhana. Oh, listen, listen, listen. Yeah? Yeah. yeah? If that is Jabril, one minute, bro, I'm talking. If that was Jabril, yeah? Then you, uh, do you mean to tell me that Jabril is all, is uncreated, had existed in our law, was, was preceded from our law, is, can give life according to the Quran, and, 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 can, and can permit to give life? Are you, are you telling me that's the case? If that's the case, then you have another God in your Islamic trinity. No, no, Yes, so that makes it a lot Islamic quadrinity because now there's four course. There's the Kitab, Umar Kitab in heaven, that's the book, that's eternal. There's your Allah, there's Jesus, there's and now there's the there's Jabril according to your sources. So Jabril is uncreated according to your sources. You have you have failed to answer my questions, bro, about Tarweed. You've get you've get you've misquoted the books, you've come with a random translation that doesn't prove that that is Ruhana. Show me in the Arabic where it says Jabril. Show me in Arabic where that, that where that, that spirit is called Jabril. You will not find it. I'll see my time. No, you see, I'm gonna talk, see, 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 probably these guys, they come here ill-prepared. Ill-prepared, exceedingly ill-prepared. Prepared. They haven't studied the Bible. They haven't studied the Quran. You go to an Islamic website, you come here, you quote things that you don't know. You see, I quote him out there. You see what I mean? You know, yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah. I'll wrap up here. You know, I can go outside and wrap up the city. This is the problem. The man comes here, wants to talk about Tawheed. You know what I mean? As I said, this is what I mean. They believe in Trinity, nowhere in the Bible. Express the closest that is for episode John 5 7. Eh? Maybe the Muslim worship Allah, who is the creator. We don't worship the creation. All the prophets in your Bible, including Jesus, were Muslims. They also be there with the Almighty God. John 5 30. I can of myself do nothing as you are here, I judge, and my judgment is just because I seek not of my own will, but the will of him who sent me, who sent Jesus, Almighty God. And last week we talked about where is Jesus? Where is Jesus? You see what I mean? They said Jesus is heaven, and Jesus is now seated at what? At the right hand of God. Jesus on the earth. They said he's fully God, fully man. That's why he was worshiping Almighty God. But in heaven, when he's supposed to be fully God, he's now seated at the right hand of Almighty God. When I asked them, they panic. This is in the Gospel of uh, uh, Luke, chapter number 22, verse number 69. Say that now we see now that the Son of Man, that is Jesus, will be seated at the right hand of the mighty God in heaven. If Jesus is seated at the right hand of the mighty God in heaven, how can he be God? And why is the Holy Spirit? You see, these people are deluded. He, this man came here ill prepared. You see, he made a fool of himself, quote Surah and Nisa 4171. I rectified him. Quoted Surah and Nisa chapter 4, uh, uh, Surah, uh, uh, Surah, uh, Surah uh, Maryam chapter 19, 16 to 19. He lied there. He cannot speak Arabic. He lied there. He said, No, it's not in there. It's another Quran. You see, this is the thing. No, I'm going to go aside. When he finished, I'm going to go and finish. I'm going to finish. You, you feel finished first. I'm going to go and finish because I want to quote again. You see? Okay. Yeah. So, let me, let me finish that conclusion. I want to finish now in a minute. Yeah. So, let me finish the conclusion here. So, this is the problem is with these Christians here. You see, when they come here, the agenda is, we know, is he belongs to the DCCI to attack Islam, and they've been trained to come here to ask Muslims questions. Ask them the questions, put them on the spot. That's it. But when you come to the Bible, what, that's why when I come here and pull out my Bibles, they freak out because they haven't studied their Bible. So many verses in this Bible where 
Almighty God in the Old Testament speaks about his oneness and his uniqueness, but they will never go to the Old Testament set. So now, I want to ask them, who is the creator? Because in the Quran, Allah, in extensive, the Quran is replete with verses where Allah, Almighty God, Allah says he's the only creator. Now, when you go to the Bible, there are only two verses. Those verses were not by Jesus, no, the word of God in the Bible. Let's go to the Quran. This is the Quran. You go to the Quran. I'm going to quote the Quran, maybe a few verses there for the benefit of Christians, and we come to the Bible and see whether this Trinity or the time God created anything. If you go to the Quran, Allah said in Surah Al Baqarah, chapter 2, verse number 171, says that He is the originator of the heavens and the earth. When he decrees the matter, he only says to be and it is kumfayakun. It's the Quran. Now, when I come here, none of them will quote any verse from the Bible here. While they are trying, God said he created anything. What about the Holy Quran in Surah Asada, chapter number 32, verse number 4? Allah says here that it is Allah who created the heavens and the earth, and whatever is between them in six days, then he established himself above the throne. You have not besides him any helper or any protector. So we need not be reminded. Follow me in the Holy Quran. It is mentioned in Surah Al An'am, chapter number 6, verse number 1. Allah said that, yeah. Alhamdulillah, he loved the Kalaka Samawati, while Ada Jala Zulumati, one noon, so Malazina Kafu be Rabim, yet the loon. It is Allah who created the heavens and the earth and originated the darkness, the darkness and the light. Yet those who disbelieve hold other, others as equal with their law. For the money, Golo Quran, it is mentioned in Surah Al Anbiya, chapter 21, verse number 33, says that it is Allah who created the night and the day, and the sun and the moon, each swimming on their own orbit. Even the scientists say that it is impossible for a man in the desert more than 1,400 years ago to come up with this verse. Because now science has found out that the sun, the moon, the day and night, they all swim their own orbit, they don't cross. Who, who could have come out with this prophecy? Means that this is the word of Allah, brothers and sisters. Allah in the word of the Quran says, several verses in the Quran, Allah speaks about Him being the only creator. Now, when you go to the Bible now, in their Bible, there is not a single, I challenge any Christian, not a single verse in the Bible where the trying God said that he created anything. They believe the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. They are co-equal, co-eternal. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost created everything. But I said, have you read the Old Testament? If you read your Bible in the Old Testament, in the book of Isaiah, chapter number 44, verse number 24, your God in the Old Testament, unless you say there are two gods, the God of the Old Testament and the God of the New Testament, but in the Old Testament, God said in the Isaiah 44, 24, I am the Lord who made all things, who alone stretch out the heavens, who spread the earth by myself. You said Jesus created anything. I want you to quote a verse in the Bible. Could be why Jesus said he created anything. Put about in your Bible. Genesis 1, 1, the first verse of Genesis 1-1. The first verse of the Bible, the first verse said in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. I say, I'm asking, which God is that? Is that a Trinity God? Is that the, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost? No. In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. And we know that the God of the Israelites, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, is only one Lord. It's not Trinity. Furthermore, in your Bible, in the Gospel of, I'm going to even in the New Testament, Gospel of uh, Matthew, chapter number 11, verse number 25. Jesus himself said, he said, and, and, and that day, Jesus said, I praise you, Father, Lord of the heavens and the earth. Jesus is calling God, in your Bible, Lord of the heavens and the earth. There's not a single verse in the Bible why Jesus said he's the Lord of the heavens and the earth. 
Matthew 11, 25, read the brothers and sisters. Jesus said, I praise you, Father, Lord of the, heaven, of the uh, heavens and the earth. For you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned and revealed them to the little children. Yes, Father, for this was a good pleasure. A few more verses. Follow more in your Bible. It is mentioned in the book of Isaiah, chapter number 45, verse number 18. It says that, he said, for this is what the Lord said. For this is what the Lord said. He who created the heavens, he is God. He who fashioned and made the earth, he founded it. He did not create it to empty, but formed it to be inhabited. He said, I am the Lord and there is no other. In this verse, verse in Isaiah 45, 18, he said that Almighty God is the one Lord and that Lord created everything. Why can't you go to the Old Testament and read what God said by himself? We go to the New Testament. And you are telling me now that God changed his mind. This is incredible, my brother and sister. So many verses in the Bible says that Almighty God is one law, including in the book of Proverbs. Book of Proverbs, chapter number 3, verse number 19. In Jeremiah, chapter number 32, verse number 17. In the book of Acts, chapter number 17, verse number 24. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 10, verse number 14. In Nehemiah, chapter number 9, verse number 6. So many verses in the Old Testament. Almighty God said he's only one Lord and he created everything. Now the Christians, now when he asked them, so you say that Jesus is God? They say, yeah. So what did he create? Yeah, if you go to John 1.10. John 1 10, my brothers and sisters, hold on. John 1 10. They go to John 1 10. Look at the Bible here, my brother. You're going to be surprised. John 1 10. The Christians ask them, is this not the creator? They say the creator. Why in the Bible? They go to John 1 10 and Colossians 1 16. Two verses they will come up. Only two. The Old Testament is the preach. Put the verses as I quoted, where Almighty God is only one Lord, He created everything. Now, John 1 10 here, listen to this, you will shocked. John 1 10 is here, said that in John 1 10, it says that I said, He was in the world. Remember, He was He was in the world, and the world was created by Him, and the world knew Him not. Here, King James Verson, the world was created by him, they said Jesus. But when you go to that New King James Version, NIV, Revised Standard Version, if you read John 1 10 said, said the world was created through him. So which one is it? The modern translation, they chalk it out. They said nothing was created by Jesus. Here they said it was created through him. This is why we don't believe in the Bible to be the word for the person, word of God. They're changing it. The world, the world was created by him, King James Version. These three verses, the world was created through him. And when you go to the uh, Colossians 1:16, it said, Everything was created by everything was created by Jesus. Here, Colossians 1:16. Everything was created by him, King James Version. But when you go to here, NIV and Revised Standard Version, they chalk it out as a fabrication. They said everything was created through him. What is it? That's why the Muslims, we cannot rely on the Bible, on the part of the word of God. It contains the word of God. Because nobody, when God says only one Lord, we believe in that. But God said that he's not a man. Hosea 11 now, for I am God, I'm not man. God says he's not a man in your Bible. Hosea 11 now, read it. For I am God, I'm not man. And Jesus said he's the man. Jesus said he's the man in the Gospel of John, chapter 8, verse number 40. He said, Jesus said to his disciples, but now you seek to kill me, a man who has told you the truth which I have from God. Jesus said he's the man. He said he was a man who, who had, who said the truth from God. In that verse, Jesus made a distinction between him and one God. So we cannot believe the Bible to be haunted by the word of God. And, my brothers and sisters, why? If you read here, 
I'm going to give my glasses. If you read the revised standard version, the revised standard version, 32 scholars wrote this. This is what they said about King James version, about this one here. Hundreds of millions of people around the world they believe in that. You see, this is what revised standard version, 32 scholars of high eminent wrote this book. They revised. They said this one has got so many mistakes. Here, this is what he said. The revised standard version. This is what he said about King James. I said, yet the King James version has grave defects. By the middle of the 19th, 19th century, the development of biblical studies and the discovery of many manuscripts made it manifest that these defects are so many and so serious, serious as to call for revision of England in 1870. So that is why my brother and sister, see, as I said, that is why I carry all these Bibles. You see, all these Bibles, they are not the same. And I told them, only one Quran, 440 surahs from Surah An Nas, so, so, from Surah Al Fatiha, so Surah An Nas, 6,236 verses. No addition, no deletion, my brothers and sisters. So you can see what we are doing, my brothers and sisters, we are inviting you to the religion, to all the prophets, which is Islam. You see, when you come here, you have these eight preachers here, Bob and the rest from the DCCI. Their objective, if you don't know, is to come here. They're getting paid to come here and malign Islam and cast as persons on the last and final prophet, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But they haven't studied their Bible, nor have they studied the Quran. We debunk them. All the time they did, we debunk them. And when they come here, all they do, notice them, Bob and the rest, they always ask questions. They've been told when you go there, just ask Muslims a question. Look at the vulnerable ones, approach them, ask them questions, put the camera on them and expose them. But they will never come to me. Bob will never come to me. He will go to Samshi and the rest. But he knows I have debated with him three times and exposed him. And when he saw the Bible, the man is always watching his pants. As soon as he sees me, he starts panicking. He will never debate with me about this concept of Trinity. This is the thing, my brothers and sisters. So Islam simply means worshiping. Submitting your way to Almighty God, Allah, worshiping alone and not associating any person with Him. Allah said in Surah Maryam, in Surah Al, uh, Al Imran 3:19, in the Dina, in the Light of Islam. Indeed, the religion inside of Allah is Islam. Islam, as I said, simply means simply worshiping only one God and not associating any partners to Him. That's it. One word for that in Arabic is Islam. All the Muslims in the Bible, every Muslim. Every, sorry, every every uh, uh, prophet in the Old Testament were Muslims. All the prophets. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent so many prophets. In the hadith about 124,000 prophets. Uh, all the prophets that came before the last and final messenger, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, were sent to their people. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the last and final prophet sent to the whole of mankind. Every person alive today should follow the Quran and the last and final message of Muhammad Sallallahu So, brothers and sisters, I'm going to uh, call two more parts of the Quran and wrap this up. If you read the Quran, Quran, it is mentioned in Surah Araf, chapter number 7, verse number 158. Araf 7, 158. Chapter 7, 158. Here, Allah is commanding Prophet Muhammad to say to mankind, He said, Oh Muhammad, say to mankind, Oh mankind, indeed, I am the messenger of Allah sent to you all. To whom belongs the dominions of the heavens and the earth. There is no deity except, except him. He gives life and causes death. So believe in Allah and his messenger. The unlettered prophet who believes in Allah and his words. And follow him that you may be guided. So my brothers and sisters, we are inviting you to the only religion acceptable to Almighty God. Christianity, Jesus wasn't a Christian. He never preached Christianity. Christianity was formed by the Romans and today millions of people are following the Bible which I wish they would take time to read from Genesis Revelation they will see the Almighty God is the only one Lord and they will see the contradictions and the inconsistencies in the Bible and the different uh, verses which are not the same so one more verse I said in I'm going to quote uh, in one more verse of the Quran in Surah and Imran, which here Allah said, he said, Kul Yahal Kitab. 
say all people to say all people to vote. Ta'ala ila kalimin sawai bayna baykum. That come to common terms, come to common terms as we do as and you. Allah na'bud illa Allah. That we worship no God Allah. Wala nuzuki bi shay'aw. That we associate no partners with him. Wala yatik zubadun abadan abadun mi dudillah. That we erect not from among ourselves laws or patrons around Allah. Fa inta Allah. But if they turn away, fa kuru salu. Then bear witness. We are now Muslim. We are Muslims. Bound to Allah's will. Wa akra dawana. Wa alhamdulillahi. Wa alhamdulillahi.